Okay, this is just a quick video where I'm just going to be showing how to install uh, the network installer of Fedora. Um, so basically, the in order to do it, you just have to get a um, the workstation CD from um, uh, from the internet, and this is the name of it. And what I'll do is I'll just put a link to this particular one I've downloaded in the description. So. Um, basically, so I've downloaded it, and then this is just the command line for creating a virtual machine. Uh, obviously, I'm doing it from the command line, but you can just use whatever virtualization software you'd normally use. Okay, so the first thing I'm going to do is to run it. And so let me just choose to install. Um, you could test the media because it's, it's actually quite small, so... It shouldn't actually take that long to do. Right, okay, the screen's a bit cut off, but you don't really, there's nothing really important that's going to show up. So that's the, it says Fedora 26 installation, and then you just got the buttons, buttons down the bottom. So I'm just going to carry on through it. So you just have to choose the disk, and... Basically, it looks like it's already done, but this is the one part which is just slightly confusing. It's got the tick on it, but you have to actually click on it so it goes highlighted. And then now, now's when you can click done. All right, and so it, it automatically chooses all the other options. And the important thing is the installation source is a mirror. So, um, what that means is that you have to have an internet access in order to do this installation. So, basically, you're going to, yeah, see, so the, you have to make sure this network is connected, because if this, because it's a net install, if this comes up with an error, the installation can't proceed. Um, so, it looks like everything's ready there, and so we'll just continue. Although this is no diselected, I'm not sure why it's saying that. Yeah, that's a bit weird. It's saying no diselected, but it's actually choosing the right disk. So, it looks like there's still some bugs left behind in this. So, one thing you just need is it's just a root password. And this is one of the good things about Um, Fedora is that it still lets you just put in a root user with a weak password, whereas you find that Ubuntu forces you to create a normal user, it won't let you log in. So that's one of the things, at least Fedora have still kept that, and see, it doesn't force you to create another user, but you can if you want to. Okay, so it's just doing the downloads now. And so basically by doing this as Fedora server, this is how you this is how you basically get a minimal install from um Yeah, how you get a minimal install in the, um, uh, when you're using Fedora as a server, although of course you wouldn't normally use it as a, in production because it doesn't last that long and the updates, they only give you it for a certain amount of time. Alright, so it's finished the download, so it's just doing the install now.
okay so that's finished now and so if you just reboot that should then take us into the um into the sort of uh, the command line or the console login okay and so that booted up quite quick and so as you can see it's also saying that there's a admin console um, which is interesting after me I didn't actually know about that so we can just go in as the root user with the root password we set up I see it just lets us straight in, unlike what Ubuntu would do, where it would just be difficult. And so, I suppose we could check that console out, since I haven't, I haven't seen it before. Okay, just looks like a cut down version of Webmin, basically. Yeah, I, I think this is Webmin actually, because this is a similar to what you get on the front screen and the way you've got the services and all that on the left hand side. Um, yeah, I suppose that's interesting. Um, yeah, so if you want to try out Fedora Server Edition, this seems like there's got this new cockpit thing, which I suppose could make things easier than sort of on the command line and I don't know I might I might check it out to see if it, if um is any, anything interesting or if it helps to speed things up okay so that's just a quick video showing you how to install uh, Fedora server edition and basically it only seems like you can get it as a net install so you have to make sure you've got a network connection when you do it Okay, thanks. See you in the next video. Bye.